Hello everybody once again, this is Akawa Kazu and welcome back to another Maple Story 2 video. This will be yet another 10 man raid. This will be the Fire Mini Tor, what they call the Igni Core or Ignite. And a call, I guess. So Fire Mini Tor, Igni Core. This boss is not very ping friendly, which is why a lot of people prefer to do Captain Mock previously. So the entrance to the party quest is right here. Alright, very close to Perion, or you can come up from Elena. So the reason why this boss is not ping friendly, if you remember Elena party quest, the level 28, 10 man party quest, the boss actually used his spinning skill a lot. And for this boss, the 5 Minotaur, he doesn't spin for only 3 spins, he spins for a long time. So this is why it's not very good for people with bad ping, because if you react very slowly to the boss spinning direction, you'll be knocked out and when you're knocked out, you will get a debuff that lasts for 10 seconds in which you only deal 10% of your damage. Very similar to the Captain Mock uh, Poison Gas mechanic, but this one can be quite brutal because this time, unlike Elena PQ, where you get knocked back, you can come back straight away, the spin actually lasts for a long time and usually before you return, uh, your debuff will still be there and then the boss might be stunned after he spins for a long time but you'll see what I mean here but the first thing you need to watch out for is if you have a slow loading time you need to make sure that you react very fast because to get to the boss area you will need to uh, hang on to a eagle alright which we'll see here right now you have to press space bar on it and you have to hold on to it so if you have a slow loading computer you might miss this entirely and you need to actually wait for the eagle to come back very, very similar to the griffin boss horus horus nest uh, level 38 10 men or 39 10 men sorry so the boss is very similar to elena pq if you happen to get a burn debuff here you can actually take away the burn by stepping into the water path there And this is again very good for knights because I believe you can actually proc your blocks off these uh, burning little AoEs just like the blue ones in the past but this one do not slow you, they just give you a prolonged burning debuff here. As you can see right now it lasts about 21 seconds. Always make sure you are topped up because... So this is the basic spin that he does in Ina PQ. And again, this one I believe you get knocked back, you'll get a debuff as well. I can't confirm because I actually don't get hit by that due to my training in Inna PQ. I'm gonna be focusing a lot here, but you can basically just see from yourself what you need to dodge. So this is where it starts the very very prolonged spin. I don't actually suggest you attacking at all. What I do as a thief is I simply just drop my poison if I can. I keep up my 5 stacks. I failed to do so. Once you get stuck in the corner here, you can think about DPSing. Yep. You can see that he gets stunned here, but you must watch out for his hammer when he slams it down later on and he'll spin again very quickly. So again, once you get knocked back the first time, you need to get back ASAP. And you can see when you change direction here, oh shit I got knocked out. You can see I got the 10 second debuff here. And what you want to do now is you want to stay away from the spin, do not get debuffed again. And once he stops, you want to get back ASAP. There's another damage reduction debuff and it slows you as well. This should be the long one. Okay, very very close attention right now. But we can knock back. Basically, if you can knock back, you lose a lot of DPS opportunity. You can see most of the Koreans they try to attack and they knock, knock back straight away, which is why I advise people don't bother attacking at all because that little bit of DPS they are trying to do 
will cause you to actually be knocked back and you get a damage debuff for 10 seconds. So even when after he finish, he gets stunned. He's standing the fire right now. Be careful not to pass away, you know. Alright, here comes the spin again. And you realize that now my debuff lasts for 29 minutes. So I believe if you get burned way too many times, right, or you stay inside the burn too many times, you get a very very long burn which you can only cure by going into the water, one of the water pools to remove it permanently. When I did it, I got it the first time, it was pretty hilarious because I was like, how am I going to get rid of this burn? It's 29 minutes. It's like, there's no way for me to get rid of it, right? So it was pretty funny. Then I was like, oh, the guy went to the pool. I'm like, okay, so that's how you get rid of it. Alright. This one's the short one. Oh, miss, guys. Miss. Alright, put the long one this time. You have to pay close attention, so if when he turn changes direction, you do not get affected by it. Alright, I'm gonna go inside the water now. Alright, I got rid of it, so that's cool, that's cool. Again, you'll be spinning for a long time. Just make sure you stay close, especially if you're a priest or if you're a class with no reliable mobility skill. Like, unless archer you're very good at fixed shotting, you might you want to be careful here. Mm -hmm. oh no. This is the one where you shouldn't get hit by, I got hit by it. Unfortunately. We're not doing very well right now. We might actually actually fail this run. Based on our DPS right now, we're not doing very good. I think too many people died and a lot of the other players uh, are not contributing. It's gonna be close basically. Alright, so when this happens, right, is to the next phase of the fight, you need to go down the platform. He will actually walk walk down himself. We still might be able to clear it, we'll see how it goes. So everybody needs to stack on one same pillar here because you need him to charge into a pillar for him to break his his basically his buff, his invulnerability buff. So one guy failed, which means we wasted like 30 seconds. And you can see because we're already very close. Oh, there are people that don't know the mechanic, so... Alright, this run is GG. It's gonna be very hard for us. Still very close though. Because people are new to the run. Oh no. <laughs> you can see the Koreans. <laughs> they are frustrated. We just wasted one minute because people do not know how to do this part. Previous one we had like 1 minute extra and because now we don't want to fail, everybody's just gonna get hit by the thing and... <sighs> now this is actually the time to DPS. Had to be right. On a recording run, things don't go smoothly. This is a short one, so it's the usual EQQ one. Hopefully those people that, you know, couldn't DPS just now and can DPS. So what we do right now is we go in an anti-clockwise direction. So let's say if you are you don't know the run, right? Just just stick stick to one of the pillars. That will be the best bet. So if he if he's on you and at least you're behind a pillar, you can actually do damage to him. And he must break the full pillar for him to break the debuff. Okay, as you can see, if he breaks half, it's not good enough. Oh, this is bad.
We managed to catch up a bit, but it's still going to be very, 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 very hard. Please, 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 no, the ranger! Oh my god, this ranger. It's going to be very, very close. Thing is, at the last uh part, right when there's no more pillars, he will actually keep charging just like EPQ. So if you fill this pillar, it's it's over basically. All right, we didn't fill this pillar. That's good news. It's gonna be so close, guys. Forty seconds left. We have to yolo this, I think. Five hundred k, thirty seconds. Should have hit by the debuff here. It's gonna be close. Twenty seconds. Okay, we got this. Yup, I think we got this. Oh, all that for a purple stone. But I'm I'm glad that this run didn't go well because you can see that if people do not know the mechanics well. It actually turns around, look at that, the top 3 We carried this team hard man 1.6 million from the wizard And the 2 teams are 1.3 and 1.4 million respectively Wow But that's a great run! I managed to get this on my previous run before I recorded Just to make sure I'm familiarized I got uh, a void plus 3 And I believe the second one I'm not too sure what it reduces But basically you can get pretty good gear from uh, Fire Minotaur Capture Monk as well for 5 minutes all, the one I'm looking for is the cape It's the cape with the golden colour I think One of them has it, let me try to see if the thief has it Not the thief, maybe the knight Not the knight Wizard? Not the wizard How about this wizard? Yup, this one, this is the one you can get from uh, 5 minutes all. But yeah, that was a pretty good run, hope you guys enjoyed As always, it will be great if you stomp the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends if you love Impostory Story 2 I'll be doing the Thief Overview video next and if I can do an updated Captain Mod 1, I'll do it. So far, we have been unsuc unsuccessful. About 3% HP was our closest, but we didn't bring our full 10-man party. We bring like a 3 Corvins and it didn't go so well, but that's it. My name has been Aqua Kazoo. Thanks for watching. Once again, God bless! And I'll see you guys and girls next time. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,